What's going on everyone? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. So, I'm curious, got a question for you. Let me know in the comments below. If there was one tool, or one piece of equipment that you could buy, build, steal, whatever the case may be, what is one tool or one piece of equipment you wish you had in your garage or your workshop? For me, it's a CNC plasma table. I've just always wanted one. So, I'm gonna build one. Now, I don't know why. I don't know if I could justify the effort or the time or the cost into building a CNC plasma. I'm gonna do it just to see if I can. So I took the D100 hot rod shop truck project, which if you're interested in seeing more about that, I'll leave a link up in the corner here. And I went down to my local steel yard and picked up some metal. So what I got is some two by two by 120 wall square tubing. And I'm gonna use that to build the entire top frame and the legs. So my plan is to have a four by two plasma table. Now I want the cutting area to be four by two. So I'm actually gonna have the cutting area a little oversized to give me a little bit of, little bit of wiggle room when it comes to laying the sheet and working in that area. So my cutting area is actually gonna, probably gonna be like 49 by 25. The gantry is gonna actually ride the long way. So it's gonna be a four foot gantry. That way, if I ever decide to expand the table and go from four by two to four by four, maybe four by eight, I'll already have the gantry made. I won't have to change anything, hopefully. And that is about as much of a plan as I have. Also, I'm gonna to try to keep this really budget-minded. Um, it's It could be real easy to go, you know, overboard when it comes to one of these builds. So I'm gonna really try to keep it budget. So in each video, at the end of each video, I'm gonna give a cost breakdown as far as where I'm at in this build. Um, now I've already got a plasma cutter, so that's not gonna be accounted for in this build. It's just gonna be basically parts. Let's, uh, let's get started. There is the tack together top of the plasma table. Now, I ran the back long. This is gonna be the back. I ran it long so that when the gantry comes along this way, the plasma cutter head can get even with the back edge of the cutting area. So this will give me room for the gantry to come back and keep that cutting head even with the back. Um, now I've measured it from this corner to that corner and that corner to that corner. And I'm exactly 62 and three quarter 
both ways. So I know the overall frame is perfectly square. And I also squared the actual opening. And that too is perfectly square. So I actually have a cutting area this way of 25 and like a 16th. And from this edge to this edge inside is 48 and three quarters. Now I know I said I wanted the opening to be 49. Uh, yeah, apparently my tape measure hung up at one point when I was measuring. So I actually lost a quarter of an inch. Not really any big deal. I just matched the other piece. Just match them and cut them the same. So it is what it is, but it's square and that's all that matters. morning guys so yesterday I ran out of time but I did get the top fully welded out I got the welds ground smooth and I got a lot of the sanding done to get rid of the mill scale off of the tubing now my welds I mean all right let's be honest I'm like a three-year-old with a jumbo crayon they're they're not the greatest but you know what I've done worse and it's held so I got every confidence Moving on, legs. So my plan for the legs is I'm gonna run a couple of cross pieces. I got one cut here, I gotta cut the other one here. And then obviously come off of those for the legs. My plan is to have these cross pieces are gonna be there to help support the water table. I do want a water table. Um, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, let's just, get to work on the legs. So there you go, guys. There is the mostly completed base for the CNC plasma table. Um, obviously, I wanna add a support across the middle here to help support the water tray. And then I gotta add, obviously, lower supports around the legs. Um, one to just keep the legs square and second to have a shelf down below. But right now this thing sits 30 inches from the floor to the top. And then I accounted for another five or six inches about for casters. So at 35 or 36 inches with the casters, that puts the height of the top pretty much even with my belt line. And that makes it perfect for, you know, loading plate, loading sheet metal, whatever. Let's talk cost. So got my receipt here from the, from the metal yard and I did the math on it. So I bought 30 feet of the two by two 120 wall box tubing. I have about 30 inches, 32 inches left over. An inch short of being able to do that support across the top. So I'll probably end up doing that with some angle iron that I have same with the base. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll price out the angle iron to include that in the cost, even though I already have some. I'll include that in the cost for you guys. So again, I used, I bought 30 feet and the total cost for 30 feet was 140.20. Comes out to 467 a foot or 39 cents an inch. So based on what I bought, I bought 360 inches. I have 32 inches of scrap. 
which means I use 328 inches at 39 cents an inch. It means this frame, the way it sits right now, costs 127.92. Not too bad. And like I said, I have angle iron uh, to do the base and to do the, that other support. So I don't have to, I've already incurred that cost, but I, like I said, I'll price that out and I'll include that in the cost, probably in the next video when I, when I put those in. But it's a start guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell. There'll be more of this plasma table coming. See you in the next one.